everyone and welcome to today's activity. We're going to be making some lovely plant pot hand paintings. This is Rose. I'm going to say hello. <laughs> and I'm Holly. Right, so what you're going to need today is you're going to need some green paint and then any other colours that you want. So I've got blue, yellow, red and then I've mixed um, some blue and red to make a nice perky colour. So you're also going to need some card, um, just some A4 card that you can fold because they're going to be nice greeting cards. So you need to be able to fold them to make an A5 card that you can open like this. Some brown card, I've got some, just some brown card from cardboard boxes but um, you can use any brown card or brown paper even would work. And then I've got a roller, um, but you could use a paintbrush or you could just put your paint in a tray and you'll see in a minute how we're going to do it. So, Rosie Posey, are you ready to do some painting? Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Right, so first thing you want to do is you want to fold your card make a nice A5 card. I've got a, yeah, do you want this piece? I've got a nice yellow piece here, but you could use white as well. There you go, Rose. Right, so first thing we're gonna do is make the plant. So, Rose, I'm gonna paint your hand. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. So I'm just gonna put it on this bit of old card, but you're probably better to get a tray to do this. Right. Just roll it onto here, look, and then we're going to paint your hand. What do you think? Ready? I mean, you can put it straight in there if you want. So we're going to paint Rose's hand. Here! We've made her into a monster! I think we need a bit more. What do you think? Now, Rose has got quite little hands, so this is going to be a little plant. But, I can probably... I'll try one with my hand as well and then you can see how it fits on. Right, ready? So what you want to do is get your card so it opens like a greetings card and then right in the middle, go like this rose hand like this, nice and outstretched, you want, whoop, you want to do a nice handprint. So it's going to look something like that. Can you see? There we go. And then we're going to lie it flat. Would you like to wipe that off? Oh! So, <laughs> Rose has done another handprint. You don't need that on there. <laughs> right, quick, wipe that bit off. Right, now we're going to make the flowers on the plant. So, your hand is going to be the plant. And then you're going to put the flowers on top. So, we're going to use, should we use blue rose? And yellow. Yeah, I'll show you what we're going to do, Rose, and then you can help me. What? Oh, what, 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 what. Right, let's do this. Right, I'll do the first one so you can see. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your little finger like this, just on your little finger, and on the tops of the fingers, you're going to go boop, two, three, four, five. Can you see? And they're going to form the centre of the flowers. Then what you want to do is with another finger, I'm going to use... Rose, do you want to do this bit? Yeah. Okay. Right, so with your little finger, dip it into the yellow. Now, okay, what I want you to do is make the flower. So you're going to go boop, two, three, four, five. Good girl, that's beautiful. Now, can you do another one? Around the other centre of that flower, ready? And one, two, Three, four, five. <gasps> wow, well done. So that's sort of, if you can see, how you want it, just ignore Rose's hand down there, want it to look. I'm going to choose a different colour now to go around the outside. Do you want to do some painting on this one when we're doing this one? You do some blobs on there. So just so you can see the flower a bit better, because I chose yellow, probably wasn't a great colour. You can do some more blobby bits here, look. 
My finger's probably a bit big for this that, one. Hold on. Please. See? Hold it. Which one do you want? There you go. And then I'll just do this one. One, uh -oh. two, three. It's all right. Yeah, you just roll it in there. Right, so can you see that? I've done the flowers around the outside of the fingers. And then, so once you've done your flowers, you'll probably want to let it dry for... Do I, wanna, should I put that over there? There you go. You can do some painting. You'll probably want to let that dry, really, for about half an hour before you do the next part of it. So I've cut this one earlier. This is the plant pot. Um, and what you want to do is sort of cut a little rectangle out like this. And then that's about the right size for your plant pot if you've got a big hand like me. But I think for roses, we're going to have to make it a little bit smaller. So you might need help with the scissors for this bit. So what you want to do, yeah, it's a little bit too big for roses. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to cut it down a tiny bit. I'll show you how to do it with the rectangle once I've done this. Tiny bit skew with. And stick your plant pot down. So you need to have your PVA glue, or you could use Pritt stick. PVA or Pritt stick will do the job. And you want to stick this on. I'm just, yeah, I'm just putting it on the back of the card like this. And you're gonna put that on your flower. So it's gonna look something like this. And then I've got this lovely corrugated gold here. So I'm just gonna put that along the top of my plant pot so it looks really pretty. You can decorate it however you like. But I think that would look nice along there. So I'm going to do that. So this is Rose's. What do you think, Rose? Who should we give this card to? Who should we give this beautiful card to? Who? Oh, to Ellie. There's a beautiful greetings card coming your way, Ellie. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this activity. It's super simple, um, but I think very effective. So we say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.